Lakota uh, Estate Park. Lakota Grande State Park here in West Laco is a very important uh, component of the natural habitat in the Mid Valley. Uh, the lakes at the Estero Grande were recreated, farmland actually, uh, at one point, and they uh, were made by by staff, uh, parks and wildlife staff, into wetlands uh, that function as real wetlands. They fluctuate with the seasons. They're able to uh, lower and and uh, heighten the, the water levels in the lake uh, in the different wetlands. And uh, that's really important because of the different shorebirds and uh, wintering birds that use the habitat. Uh, the water levels need to be able to fluctuate. And the wetlands is a very important component of our habitats in the valley. We have a lot of thorn brush and, and a lot of other habitats, but if we didn't have water, the wildlife that depends on it wouldn't be able to live here. So uh, one of the things that we really enjoy doing is partnering with Estero Yana Grande State Park and, and taking field trips to there, bringing children for our nature uh, camps or our, uh, what we now have a wonderful partnership in doing is the Kids Nature Club. And the Kids Nature Club goes out once a month, and we go explore the different areas of the valley. And we understand the importance of kids needing to be immersed in nature and needing to be hands-on and learning firsthand about these wonderful, wonderful places and, and different things out in nature. So Estero Yana Grande State Park is a big part of that. The, uh, the wetlands there are comprised of uh, many shallow lakes that are... Uh, full of reeds and, and cattails and different water aquatics that's used by nesting birds, by the fish and the frogs and all the other reptiles that live there. And they fluctuate through the year, which brings a constant, uh, constant influence of different species of animals that use them. Uh, there's bobcats that will hunt in those reeds at times and grab coots and other water birds. Uh, there's raccoons that'll fish for crayfish in there and of course all the birds that use it for all the different purposes that they need it for. Uh, there's also some deeper lakes there and some risacas, some old oxbow lakes and those are habited by uh, alligators, American alligators actually live in, at least a pair of them lives in Alligator Lake uh, named after the alligators that live there and then there is the waterway just south of there that is actually the namesake of the park, the Estero Llano Grande, this is the old Estero Lake or Llano Lake and Yano Lake is actually the beginning of the floodway uh, and the beginning of Arroyo, Colorado uh, fl uh, flooding shed that goes through the whole valley, goes out into the Gulf of Mexico. So it's all a very important part of our ecosystems here and it all blends in together and works as a whole system. Mm -hmm.